that means that I was um, practicing looking at myself. And, and again, as a pattern recognizer, I knew when my own um, hangups would come to front, right? I, I, so it's okay. I would just be like, oh, I can see my egos on the stage. You know, I can see like when someone told me at first about urine, I was like, oh God, okay. <laughs> because, and then I went, oh, interesting, you know? Oh, interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm reacting negatively to that. There must be something there. There must be a truth there, <clears throat> you know? So when I, when I, so it's like, be del- find the delight in, what you think is happening with your ego instead of just listening to the ego you know sending you down the bad path so that's what i would do instead i was like oh well then i must look at it closer because my ego is reacting my ego is reacting to it i must look at it differently and closer and then i did and then i found the truth about urine as a healer and then began to apply it in my own life because i always do that with all the things that i find first so that i can speak to it from experience and then I, um, you know, continue to grow and learn in that. And, and so anytime something like that happens, um, I look at it first. Now, it might be true. It might be I, my revulsion might be accurate, right? Mm-hmm. But I still have to check whether it's my ego reacting and from propaganda and from programming or if it's my true self, you know, saying for real, like this is, you know, not a good thing for me or whatever. So this is fine tuning over many experiences. And, um, and so if people were to practice this, they would find more delightful, um, aspects and, and, and offerings that life is giving to them rather than, um, shutting it down before they even really begin, which is what most people do. You know, they'll just say it's nonsense and that's the last of it. And so, but they don't realize that they're being obstinate in ignorance because they really don't have an argument to bring to the table, right? If you've never heard of urine therapy before, before experienced it, read about it, had testimonials come your way about its benefits or any of that, and someone presents it to you and you go, ew, and then decide to never look at it again, you do realize that you've just, you know, expressed yourself as an ignorant person, right? And yeah. I didn't want to ever be that type of individual. And so that kept me also exploring and listening. Like I had another experience where when I had my store open, an, an elder gentleman came in. Um, he was in his uh, 90s and he was very hunched over. Um, and he told me that I asked him, you know, back when you were young, what was the most common remedy, home remedy that you used? And he said, oh, well, that's easy, turpentine. <laughs> I went, what? You know, and being a painter, I knew all about turpentine as a solvent for oil painting as I was using. I went, what do you mean, turpentine? What are you you going on about, old man? You know, like this sort of thing. And he said, no, we would rub it into our joints for rheumatoid arthritis or arthritic pains. And he said, this is what he uses for his pain. And, uh, And of course, I could have easily said, ah, silly old man, and dismissed it and whatever, right? But no, I was fascinated. And then I went and researched turpentine. I learned all about it and, and saw that there were many benefits to this and yet another tree uh, medicine. And, and this is, if, we're, if we do this in our life, we, we just, we do much better with life rather than coming at things with the walls up in front of us and not listening and wanting to stay willfully ignorant. That is just not how you grow and find your own peace and happiness and learn patterns and integrity and, and all of these things. And so people just really block their themselves and their own growth. Uh, but I, I was really not one to do that. But you're, but you, but having the original like programming come up is it happens. It happens to all of us. It's just what do you, what do you do when you, can you identify the programming and can you work through it? 